argument. But even if there's one unfulfilled prophecy, the whole Bible is disproved with the word of God. I can give you a list of unfulfilled prophecy. For example, if you read Genesis chapter number 4, verse number 12, it says, God told Cain, you will never be able to settle. You will be a wanderer. Few verses later on, Genesis chapter 4, verse 17 says, Cain built up a city. Unfulfilled prophecy. If you read Jeremiah chapter number 36, verse number 30, it says that Joachim, the father of Joachim, no one will be able to sit on his throne. The throne of David, no one will be able to sit after Joachim. If you read later on, 2 Kings chapter number 24, verse number 6, it says that Joachim, after he died, later on, Joachim sat on the throne. Unfulfilled prophecy. One to prove, it's not the word of God. I can give plenty. If you read Ezekiel chapter number 26, it says that Nebuchadnezzar, he will destroy Tyre. We come to know that Alexander the Great was the person who destroyed Tyre. Unfulfilled prophecy. Isaiah chapter number 7, verse number 14 says, prophesizing of the coming of a person who will be born to a virgin, his name shall be Emmanuel. They say, the Christians, it refers to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Born to a virgin, the Hebrew word there is Amla, which means not a virgin, a young lady. The word for virgin in Hebrew is Bethula, which is not there. Even if we agree, we are using concordance. We agree. Virgin? Virgin. No problem. It says, he will be called Emmanuel. Nowhere in the Bible is Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is called as Emmanuel. Unfulfilled prophecy. I can give several, plenty unfulfilled prophecy. One is sufficient to prove the Bible wrong. I have given a few. According to your theory of, theory of probability, Bible is not the word of God. 